Alright guys, this is it! Welcome to the World Cup Final today guys. This is it, the big one. The big kahuna guys. You can't get much bigger than this. That's what she said. But let's go man, this is it. We've already beaten them once, 3-1 in the group stage. But this time, this time, they mean business. This is it. They mean revenge. The Republic of Ireland. You know what I mean? We're getting we're getting flashbacks already, guys, and things haven't even kicked off. What's all this? Or, or at least f we're getting deja vu here or something. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, man? They, they, they've really built this one up, but yeah, I love the uh, I love that presentation though of, of the final. Looks absolutely fantastic, guys. But gives me gives me very strong memories of the final itself as well, guys. You know what I mean? I remember. Um, Italy, France, like it was yesterday, really. You know, like the Zidane headbutt, the sending off, that cheeky chip penalty Zidane did. Um, I think it was Trezeguet who missed in the penalties in the end. And then I remember the trophy lift. I think that was one of the most memorable, iconic things of the tournament for me, it was just the final itself, really. Even though everybody I knew at the time didn't really care about the final because, you know, England had been knocked out and all that kind of stuff. But that aside, guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, this is it. One night in July, guys. Can we be world champions? Who would have thought? It, it'd, be, it'd be like literally like a million, not even a million to one. It'd be like a trillion to one for these two teams to get to the final, would, wouldn't it, guys? Let's face it. It, would, it really would be. Not that I'm putting them down, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, we're, we're finalists here, so we've got to have good teams, guys. You know what I'm saying? But, like, in real life, it would just be so incredible. Also, we will be playing for the first time ever in the series. And the only time that you... Um, well, if you unlock it, you can play with it any time, um, she said. Uh, we were playing with the uh, golden ball, the um, the final. They always have, like, a golden ball in the final. There it is, guys. The one and only. But who is the golden ball going to be shining for today canada republic of ireland we're about to find out we've got to give it our air game today let's turn off the counter attack and stick to our strats uh for this one we're not really changing anything we've made one or two changes in the team i think um in fact no i think the team is pretty much the same as it was in the last game against australia um I, like i said because like when i say changes i have a default team and oh my lord bang it out what are you doing you have no time for mistakes in finals holy crap um yeah when i said that changes it's because the default team um like for example used to have ochan in it and i just don't use ochan anymore i prefer hume nowadays um so you know what i mean that, that i always like take ochan out and here's rosinski He's got seven already. He was going for the eighth there in this tournament. He's going to be the top scorer. Unless, of course, Keno Morrison score around six goals and Rosinski doesn't get anything, which uh, hopefully won't happen, but, you know. Um, so, yeah, guys. Oh, this has got to be... It's got to be Rosinsk. Rosinsk. Oh, no, you took it too far. What are you doing? Should have squared it probably to Hume. Oh dear, you cannot be affording to miss chances like that in finals. Not not after coming this far, man. Nowhere. Can't afford to do stuff like that. Here's Rosinsk again. It's Rosinsk. Yes! And he's got a final goal. Oh, there we go. There is the eighth. Definitely has to be confirmed now, doesn't it, for top scorer. So, <laughs> nice little ball over the top. Touch was good. Got a little bit of space away from the defender. Just slotted it past uh, Given quite easily. Well, it was a little bit of a scare early on for us as well. But, it, you know what I mean, it's, it seems to be working out this, like, hume Brzezinski partnership. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever happened to Ochan, man, like, he just totally lost it. You know what I mean? He was really good in the qualifiers, I have to say that. You know what I mean? He won't be forgotten. He will never be forgotten. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, he... Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I just went totally right off him. I don't know. And then I discovered Brilliant, who's got Brilliant speed. Yeah, that was a really bad punt. So, never mind. Um, Brilliant was brilliant. For You know what I mean? Bit of, bit of a cameo, though. You know what I mean? This late on in the game. But, uh, 
Yeah, I think if I had to, you know, sum up this game, if I had to say anything really about it, I would probably just say that, you know, it gives me a lot of memories, you know, from, like, playing this game when I was younger, and there's 2-0. And uh, it's not quite turning out to be the final that we uh, hoped for, is it? No, that's definitely not what it's turning out to be. Um, yeah, you know, I, I remember playing this. I remember playing as Kenya in this game. <laughs> and I think the reason for playing as Kenya, guys, was because I had... The, we had this, like, geography... Um, like project we had to do and I think it was on it was on Kenya um, and I, I'm trying to think of some of the way I think we had to make like some sort of like setting or something like that of like how we think oh, like Kenya is or so I don't know something like that guys I remember having to build something for it but um, um, yeah and that was one of the reasons when I discovered that Kenya were actually in this game I was like yeah man I'm going to take Kenya to the World Cup man I'm going to get them all the way to the final and all like that and that's what I did I actually got all the way to the final against France I think it was 2-2 after extra time and then ended up losing in penalties yeah I got all the way to the final did all that hard work and then lost it on penalties in the final and it was just like so heartbreaking at the time <laughs> it just really was um but, oh well, you know, I'm not too bothered about it, you know, I mean, I had some fun, I played as Australia on this game, and I had some fun uh, playing as them, and I was actually surprised the amount of, like, facts and details that they put into this game, you know what I mean, I was playing the watered-down PSP version of it, for God's sake, guys, as well, you know what I mean, uh, which is pretty much just the same as the PS2 version, and, like, the Xbox and stuff like that, um, but, you know, after playing the, like, the 360 version of this game, I've got to say, it is a very good game, guys. I, I've enjoyed this uh, quite a lot. And, um, you know, I'm going to be sad to see it go. I'm going to put counter-attack on here. Why not at this point? Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm... Uh, I'm happy. I'm going to be very sad to see this game go because it's been it's been it's been really good playing this, guys, um, over these past couple of months that I've been doing it. So yeah, I'd like to get, know what you guys think of this game overall in general. Where do you rate it? Do you have any memories of it? You know how how did you get on playing it? Did you have some fun? <laughs> you know what I mean, guys. Um, oh come on like this is too easy you know, it's gotten to the point where it's just gotten too easy now that's the ninth goal for Rosinski it's game over guys you know what I might as well give them a chance by playing like free up front or something here you know I, it's so disappointing sometimes like football games it's nothing like real life is it you, no matter how much um, you want it to be because you spend all that time, you know, trying to qualify and stuff like that. In this case, you know, getting all the way to the final and stuff like that. And then you get there and it's just like the other team just doesn't turn up. You know what I mean? If we'd have been playing someone like maybe Italy in the final, I reckon it might have been a bit more exciting, to be honest. Um, or imagine if we were playing Portugal in the final. It would have, I, I would have taken Republic of Ireland in the quarterfinals and then Portugal in the final itself. It, if it was the other way around, it would have been so much more... <laughs> Uh, exciting but oh well I think I might change the formation towards the end of this one just see how we go with it I might just put three at the back I don't know give I give Ireland a chance at this point oh that was a header on target as soon as I say that they start threatening us a little but whatevs <laughs> whatevs And ball over the top. Oh, that was a good effort. Good save, though. Can they make the most of this? It's a corner. Let's, uh, let's just whip this one in anyway, really. And header again. Oh, that's going to be over the bar there. And it could have easily... Fl I thought it was going to be the fourth goal there. I actually honestly thought it was going to be. Still leave it. Still even time to uh, to get another goal, guys. Still even time in this first half. So, yeah. <laughs> Cross bent in. Sees off the danger. But the thing is, though, it's like a lot of games just in general, not just like FIFA, Pez as well, etc. You know, like a lot of teams like 
tend to not like show up half the time anyway would you expect them to you know the amount of times uh, on the channel where I've played like a, a so-called bigger team and they just haven't turned up at all oh my lord wow you know what I'm I'm, I'm bitterly disappointed man Rosinski's got 10 <laughs> Poor Republic of Ireland, man. Poor Republic of Ireland. I, I'm, I, I feel ashamed to be doing this to them. You know what I mean, man? And again, I guess one of the unavoidable things um, that I'm not going to avoid here, if that makes sense, um, is that I, uh, you know, the difficulty factor, guys. When you've get, when you've got to this point, if you've been playing on the same difficulty. The, again, I, I can't stress enough how sort of disappointing it can be because it's not the fact that, you know, I, I've gotten too good for the game. I want to play it at a harder level, guys. And maybe I should have. Maybe maybe I should, like, play this final again or something on a harder difficulty, guys, um, if I could somehow because, like, it feels like I want to change it, but it's always that thing. Do you guys have... Does it ever happen to you guys where... You um, you're playing on a on a difficulty that's you know it's 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 good enough to play, and you know you can win games. But when you turn the difficulty up, it suddenly just like gets way too difficult, and it's just like you know it's just not worth it. You've got to stay on the other difficulty before going up one. And uh, yeah, you know, sometimes I find that, but I don't. I really didn't want to do that, guys. You know what I mean? Um, and I really didn't want to change the game speed down or anything like that. You know what I mean? I was really, I was hoping so much and I've been let down so hard here um, that this final has been just one-way traffic in the first half. It's just, it's crap. It's literally crap, guys. Not the game, but, uh, you know, this match in general. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go with a 3-4-3 uh, three, three formation. Uh, I'm just going to stick three at the back now. Um... I don't know, it, it's just it's such a letdown, isn't it? It's such a letdown. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say anything more than that. Brilliant defensive work. This is Ratsinski. And uh, here we are, we're going to go wide. And you see how many goals we can get in this final now, I suppose. Andy Reid. Simpson whips it in. Nothing there. Might as well just start taking massive shots from outside the box or something now. You know what I mean? Like, really just should. Oh, that's going to roll out. Never mind then. Simpson. I guess we may as well see how many goals we can get then. Let's tr let, let's take it maybe a little bit more serious. I'm, I'm kind of, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really taking this game any more seriously now after that disappointing. Uh, that, that's the thing, because it's not a disappointing first half because we scored four, but <laughs> it's disappointing in the fact that the final is just not exciting because of that. Anyway, I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna make all three subs at this point. I may as well just get it out of the way with, even though we really don't need subs. But I've decided to throw on a few players. I'm gonna play the Ocean Demon one more time, guys. Why not? Let's get him on there. See what he can do. Here's Rosinski, and he doesn't get another goal, unfortunately. Oh well, he did about as much as he could there, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, why the sheer Given's head was flashing there? Like, he's he's about to explode, man, because he's just... He's absolutely gutted that he's going to lose this now, after all that. After after Republic of Ireland's triumph, man, to get this far in the competition. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, that is crazy. I, I, I love how, like, random these games can be sometimes. It's really funny, like, sometimes in... Um, I remember back in the day, like, whoa, hello. Um, like, in, like, FIFA 2005, you get all kind of random stuff happening quite a lot. Like, you know, I don't know. Like, you get all, like, your lower league teams, like, beating all the Premier League teams and stuff like that. Just ran just little random things, just crazy things just happening quite a lot of the time. And I just, I loved that back in the day. Even on today's, you know, FIFA 16, FIFA 17, whatever, you know, it's still happens doesn't it just I, I love like the cup the cup competitions and whatnot and um, 
and let the qualifying because like Netherlands didn't qualify in this game, did they? They didn't qualify for uh, the uh, this World Cup. Um, not in real life, by the way. The, the, I'm talking about the game here. Um, they didn't qualify, and that was kind of strange. And that, and it's just it's just random little weird things. We've had way less possession here. I'm just I'm literally just waiting for the trophy lift now. Like probably you guys are waiting for it too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know it is the final, and I decided that I am going to show the entire final no matter what happens. Wins the ball on the way. And that's a good ball. Here's Simpson. And he's going to try and chip it. And it's going to go over the bar, unfortunately. Never mind. It was a good effort. Try and get a chip goal this late on, I suppose. Why not? Let's try and go for that. You never know. Could get lucky. But, um, yeah, I mean, this game is, is really good. I really loved, um, like, the previous tournament game. I guess... I'm not going to include um, Road to World Cup in, in a, as a previous tournament game um, because technically it isn't really. It's just about qualifying for this World Cup. Um, but oh, here's Rosinsk and Rosinsk. He's going to get a chip goal or <laughs> whatever. I thought I may as well try get a chip goal there. Wow. Well, um, yeah, like Euro 2004, man. That was a really good game. I really enjoyed that game. Uh, very, a uh, very lot. I, can, I remember the, like the long shots in that game that you could do are so epic. Like the physics of that game just feel really, just they, they feel really great in that game. You know what I mean? In fact, I prefer them over this game. You know what I mean? I know this game is meant to be sort of like an improvement on like you know, like the the, the FIFA games in general. You know what I mean? What EA was uh, developing. Um, at the time and that but uh, you know I, I, I think I still prefer like Euro 2004 at this time guys um, and of course the next tournament game uh, will be uh, Euro 2008 after this one um, so uh, you know and then obviously we've got the next World Cup in South Africa didn't we so ooh. Five nil. It's been a bit of a thrashing, and we even got a chip goal, guys. A rare chip goal on the channel, guys, which is probably going to get voted for goal of the month or something because you know it was a it was a very rare moment on this channel where I actually scored one. So can't be bad. No, now we're just showing off now we're just showing off we're doing like back flicks and everything it's crazy oh that's totally wrong just trying to see what the fourth official is signaling here are three minutes of added time but uh, Republic of Ireland kind of trying to give it everything they got here but sadly it's not gonna work is that the full-time whistle guys it should be, and it is. We are the world champions. We've taken Little Big Canada, or Big Little Canada, whichever way you want to put it there, all the way to um, to the final, and we've won it. There you go, guys. You know what I mean? It's it's strange to think at one point we lost 3-0 to Guatemala, which uh, I'm sure you guys, even myself, won't let that up. You know what I mean? I will. Uh, what's going on here? struggling to cope with all this celebration or something um you know one of the, again like comes back to that difficulty thing where we talked about you know like the, the the game speed affected it and it would be very interesting to see what would have happened guys you know what i mean and there we go there is the trophy lift that really does. I, that, that's giving me a bit of goosebumps, guys, because that kind of that trophy lift kind of reminds me of when um, I forget his name. <laughs> I forget his name. Who was the Italian captain, guys? But when he lifted the trophy, he actually got up on the. Um, I think it was like the table, and I believe he stood on top of that and then lifted it into the air for the trophy lift. And I, I just remember that so much. Um, so yeah. But it's been a great adventure, guys. It really has. Even through the hard times of this um, this game, where we, uh, we looked like we were struggling quite a lot, and um, gone on to do it.
congratulations, you won the dot 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 FIFA World Cup Germany 2006. Yeah, that's my congratulations screen. We've already seen that when we loaded up the game the first time, but all right. Anyway, guys, tournament history. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's about it, guys. We beat Republic of Ireland 3-1. Beat France 3 0. How many goals did we score altogether in the World Cup? We got 3, 6, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 18, then, guys, altogether. Not. Uh, not bad. Not bad at all. So there we go, guys. A North American winner. So basically in the game, we've got a North American winner, but you can also uh, get all the different other regions like Asia, uh, Europe, Africa, etc. North America, uh, sorry, South America as well, etc. So anyway, guys, here we are. Uh, Champions FIFA World Cup winners celebrate victory. Summary, who are the big performers? Let's have a look then. So, uh, best strike force, Canada with 18. Uh, Spain with 11 goals. Uh, Portugal, 10. Italy, 9. Nigeria, Australia, Republic of Ireland all got 8. Tunisia, 7. England, 5. Japan, 5. Spain um, for clean sheets got 6. So, they were the best uh, for clean sheets. Where did we come? We got 3 clean sheets. Australia got 4. Croatia, 2. Along with uh, Republic of Ireland, England, Portugal, Brazil, Italy and Germany. So, uh, world rankings, guys. Now, are you kidding me right now? This makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. We've just won the World Cup, right? When we're meant to be the best team on the planet, and yet the rankings put us a second. I'm sorry, that is... Bull crap, man. How can that be possible? We've gone from 26 to second. Somehow Spain have gone to top. How? How? They came third. They should be third. Australia should be fourth. Republic of Ireland should be second, man. Republic of Ireland have finished up in fourth. Australia finished up in third. What? What is that crap? Oh, Italy have gone down to uh, fifth. England are going to remain sixth. Japan have gone up to seven. Portugal have gone up uh, to eight from 16. Brazil have fallen right down to ninth. Uh, Czech Republic are tenth. Croatia, 11. Germany, 12. Nigeria have gone up to 13. Nigeria did really well, actually. Uh, Tunisia, 14. Senegal, 15. Korea, Republic, 16. Sweden in 17. Argentina have dropped right down to 18th. Uh, France are 19th. Denmark 20th, Mexico 21st, Serbia 22nd, Iran 23rd, USA 24th, Uruguay 25th, and Norway 26th, man. Uh, Colombia have gone down from 25th to 27th there. Uh, no changes uh, apart from Egypt moving up to 48th from Bulgaria moving down to 49th. Okay, Guatemala. Might, must have been that 3-0 victory, guys. Guatemala have gone up to 64 from 65. Unbelievable. Can't believe we let them have it. <laughs> uh, no changes other than that there. Uh, absolutely no changes on this page whatsoever. And that's it, guys. Uh, Pakistan, worst team in the game, guys. So, yeah, San Marino, not the worst team in the game. So... I guess that's something. So Adidas uh, Golden Shoe Award has been uh, given to Rosinski and the Adidas uh, Golden uh, Ball Award for the player of the tournament is also Rosinski, man. So that's not bad either. Um, fair play award has gone to Canada. <laughs> uh, team with the best disciplinary record. I don't think we got any cards at all, did we? It's not exactly difficult to um, avoid getting cards, though. Uh, FIFA Most Inten Entertaining Team Award was Canada... Yeah, uh, to be honest, right, to be honest, right, to be, I don't think we deserve that. I think the most entertaining team was actually Republic of Ireland. Republic of Ireland are my most entertaining team, guys, uh, if you ask me. Uh, Yasin Award for best goalkeeper is Onstad, of course. And uh, that's it. That's it, guys. Game over. Everything's done. Everything's completed. There is literally nothing else uh, to do or to go through now, guys. What a tournament it was. Um, so I hope your team did well wherever your team came, guys. You know, however well they did. Um, I'm sorry if I if I beat them or thrashed them in the end, but, you know, 
got I've got to, I've got to do what what I can to win that trophy and uh, uh, I've enjoyed it guys absolutely excellent a lot of detail in this game pick it up it's it's fantastic and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it so please do comment rate subscribe and share as always and I will see you guys in another series another time goodbye and take care see you then